Hello everyone, Danny here today to talk to you about the audiobook Never Let Go, written by Dan John, narrated by Steve Oswalt. In this review, I am going to cover the structure, the content, and the purpose of the book. I'm going to let you know how good a job the narrator does. And I will also let you know if I discovered any mature content in the book that I think parents should be made aware of. Before I get started, though, if you love audiobooks, subscribe, turn on notifications, and down in the comments, Feel free to let me know of any books you'd like me to review for you. I'll listen to it, post a review, you can take it from there. Now, to this book. I love books on health and fitness, and specifically books that deal with weightlifting. However, I run into a common problem with books. Either the book is full of useless information, but a whole heck of a lot of attitude, or the book has a ton of useful information and no real attitude. It, it, it reads more like you're taking a class in college, you know. Dan John's book is not like that at all. First off, chock full of attitude. If you're the slightest bit familiar with Dan John, then, then you know he's got a really good, you know, motivational get out and lift something heavy, shut up, quit your whining kind of an attitude to him. That doesn't is <clears throat> excuse me, isn't overdone. Doesn't come across like he's trying to be tough, like he's trying to be manly, like he's he's trying anything at all. It's just kind of who he is, and it naturally comes through. But it inspires you. It makes you want to go out and lift heavy stuff. On top of that, this book is chock full of all kinds of useful information. Now, I've been weightlifting since I was about 16 years old, so about 34 years. Most of my information has come from you know, either books or magazines like Muscle and Fitness. It's my first time listening to Dan John. Dan John is a Highlands Game athlete, a powerlifting athlete, an Olympic lifting athlete. He coaches, he throws the discus, and he's also a college professor. He refers to a lot of things in the book that I actually had to go Google. I've never heard of doing a power curl. What in the world is a power curl? Well, I had to go Google power curl to figure out what power curls, power curling is. There's several things that he talks about and a whole lot of stuff that, that I'm going to incorporate and try out and do like he says, give it a try for a couple of months and then measure the effect that it has on my personal training. This is not a book for someone who just wants to go spend a half an hour having a little bit of fun in the gym. This is a book for someone who really wants to improve and really wants to get better and is looking for someone who will teach them how and who will motivate them. It's comprised of articles that he has written. Followed by one chapter will be an article that was written sometime in the past. One chapter may be a chapter that was written specifically for the book. He kind of incorporates, and you never know which it's going to be unless in the chapter he's referencing a prior chapter that was actually an article. That's when you go, oh, some of these are articles. Each chapter has a distinct and direct purpose and teaching element to it. But at the same time, because of the way it's put together, it, it has a kind of rambling feel to it. And I don't mean that in a bad way. I mean that in a very good way. It leaves you going, okay, what's the next chapter going to be about? I, I got to listen to the next chapter. This is actually a book that I sat down and listened to from beginning all the way to end. I just started driving and oh I'm gonna nope you know what I'm gonna keep listening I'm, I'm enjoying this too much I, I'm learning too much from this book he covers items such as a proper warm-up I mean I'm totally revamping the way I do my warm-ups 
based on his teachings in this book. That's, that's one of the plans that I have to really dramatically change. Proper lifting techniques, sets, reps, nutrition, attitude, goal setting. <clears throat> he covers quite a wide range of topics, but it doesn't have that feel of someone who's covering a wide range of topics and just floating along the top of the topic. You know, I'm just going to hit the surface stuff that everybody else covers. No, he dives deep into the topics, way deep into the topics to someone like me who's been lifting for a while is left going, holy snap, I have learned so much. I have so much to incorporate. Some of it is stuff that, that I already knew, but i have gotten away from. I, I've come completely gotten away from squatting. I haven't squatted in forever. I definitely have to get back to squatting. You know, some of it may be stuff that you never see in a gym. I've, I've been doing heavy farmer's carries and, and sled drags at my gym for a while now, and I'm like the only person who ever does it, and I always have people asking me, what in the world are you doing? What in the world is the purpose behind it? Now, thanks to his book, when people ask me that, I don't have to try to explain the benefits that you get from it. I can go, wow, listen to this book. Dan John says to do it, so I'm doing it. Because that's what he says to do is get yourself a coach. Like the coach, you know, and then you just say, well, I'm doing this because coach says to do it. And then you don't have to like explain. That's one of the elements from the book. It's kind of fun. He has a dry kind of sense of humor which fits with me. It, it, it very much fits my sense of humor. The, the the book has a lot of humor in it. Nothing that ever made me like bust a gut laughing out loud, more like just brought a smile to my face, you know, maybe made me chuckle. There was not a bit of mature content that I can remember at all from the book. I, I'm, I'm fairly safe in saying you could easily listen to this around your kids. The only danger of listening to this around your kids is they might want to go try some of the more advanced stuff that he talks about. And he does get into some really advanced lifting and he explains this is advanced. If you can't deadlift twice your body weight, if you can't bench your body weight, then you should not be doing this because this is too advanced for you. He explains stuff like that in the book. Narrator does a good job. The narrator has kind of a dry delivery that works really well with Dan John's style. Really, really well with Dan John's style of book. And it is time for me to go deliver my load. So, if you like this video, hit the like button. If you like my channel, subscribe. Turn on notifications. But most importantly, no matter what else you do today, make sure that today you listen to at least one really good book and I definitely recommend Dan John's book which I just forgot the title too but I said it in the beginning of the video and it'll be in the title. Thank you.